what's up y'all welcome back to my channel it is your girl brie and over here is just a whole lot of rich and raw rich and raw bitch first name rich last name raw you heard it if you are new to this channel hey girl hey my name is brie or rihanna but i prefer to call brie we're getting into this thing where we're getting official okay but i'll get into that a little later because you could tell by the title it's a whole lot of different yes if you're new to this channel like i said my name is brie make sure you go ahead since you already clicked on this video go ahead and like comment and subscribe turn post notifications so you don't miss a beat Hold on, cause my dog, he's was crying to come in, now he's crying to go back out. We're back. Let me make a couple disclosures before we even get to this video. If you hear any like rah, rah, rah. This room, you're literally behind my washer and dryer, which is in the next room. So it's against this wall, so please forgive that sound. I did close my door. But yeah, so as y'all can tell by the title chat, it's a whole lot, a whole lot of different. By the way, I got new glasses. Do you like them? It's Blu-ray, so uh, I don't know, but in the camera, it seems like it's kind of giving like a bluish, like you can see like on my glasses or whatever. But yeah, so by me being on my laptop, my computer, my phone, a lot, it's giving, um, a bitch is getting bland. Okay. So your girl had to take care of her eyes. And I was getting like a headaches and stuff at night. So your girl just had to kind of make sure she even get, you know what I'm saying? She ain't going blind before she can even see her new man. You know what I'm saying? But make sure you go ahead and grab you a nice glass of wine because your girl got a lot to say and we have a lot to talk about. So grab your water, your juice, your wang, your pop because your girl got a Pepsi by the way. And yeah, let's chat. Let's let's get into this video. <sighs> By the way, this is um my Casamigo shot. Oh, let me show you. With pickle juice in it, with a pickle inside. Let me put y'all on. Okay, since I've been in Houston, the first time I went to Houston, my first shot I had to go pickle juice, and girl, it just changed my life. So. I got a little costume here with a lot of ice in there, a pickle spear, and pickle juice. Cheers. And a Pepsi on the side. So, okay. So, now let's get into this video. Um, As you, as we're going to be talking and chit-chat, I'm going to be doing my lashes because um, my lashes are like coming off. And I'm a DIY girl, so I woke up this morning and I was like, maybe you should start doing your own lashes because the reason I don't be going, like, I don't get my lashes done. Two things, two reasons. One, I don't really want to get the minks because the minks be feeling like I be feeling like I'm not trying to go blind. I'm gonna be honest with you. I'm trying to be as natural as possible. That's why you your girl ain't got no steak drink, okay? And so I don't want to get like you know the minks because the minks last longer. But I did have them before, and girl, it was giving it hurt. Like I was waking up, like pain was in my ass. It was getting no, it was very uncomfortable, and it takes too long to get done. So no, and but I really do like individuals because it's one, it's quick, it's convenient, and it's just hair glued and doesn't hurt. You know, it doesn't like really hurt your eyes. But um, one thing about it is I my eyes be watering at night. If I would lean this way, it start watering. I lean this way, it starts watering. So I always just try to sit up to like, okay, maybe it's just be even. And girl, no, so sorry you hear that it's spinning. Um, so yeah, I was like, you know what, maybe you should just try to do your own because I mean, it's it's can't be that hard. So we're gonna be putting on some lashes, thumbnail, Ooh, excuse me, thumbnail. Um, put them on my own lashes. I did like kind of keep a couple pieces. <laughs> Girl, if you know, you know. Cause you always if you know if you wear these type of lashes, you be like, girl, I know I can probably put that on later. You know what I'm saying? So we gotta do that. So I got me my wine, I mean my consumer shot, my Pepsi, and I got Oreos. 
I'm doing my lashes, I also want to kind of talk to y'all. This is why it's kind of different because we're doing like a sit down with me. And I just kind of want to have like this, like one on one. Don't mind me, I'm just looking over here because I'm trying to get to the page. But, um, because I want to stay focused. Um, I want it. I want to kind of talk to you guys before I kind of get into it, but also I'm going to be kind of prepping. Um, I have been tr trying to stay focused. Um, I could be a bird brain. I could be, I, I feel like I diagnosed myself with ADHD. Um, and I say that because like my mind be so sporadic. I'm very creative. I'm very, um, ambitious. I'm very just like want to always do something. And sometimes if you're doing so much, it's like, it kind of leaves you like purposeless. Like, what am I even doing all this for? Like, it's not you're not you're not finding happiness, right? So that's kind of what I've been kind of going through. And also, I just like recently like went through like went through a breakup. But that's that's and that's kind of been just hard. We're gonna get into that. Like, uh, I'm not gonna go into details because, like, I feel like in my heart that is the person, um, maybe I'm supposed to be with. Um, I mean, you did six years, like, you know what I'm saying? You can't just throw it down the trash and just, like, it ain't nothing. But I feel like this is a part of my time. Like, I'm kind of thankful to have that. Matter of fact, let's take a shot for that. Okay, because that was very mature of me. Um,. Cause I never really tell my business. Um, but what I really want to say is it kind of helped me realize like sometimes you know how you go through break up breakups and you reminisce or, like about the bad sometimes or sometimes you think about the good. But this time I thought about like, okay, what could have been different? What what where were where was I in this mindset? What made me decide the decisions that I decided, you know, just decided just to just break it off, you know. And I feel like, you know, one of the more, one of the main reasons is having seen your business, okay? Having people in your business. Um, one thing for me is like, I'm very dramatic, okay. And um, I am really proud of myself being very vulnerable. Um. And sometimes, like, you know how you could get mad uh, just over a situation that could be really small. And you get on the phone and you call it, you know, your family, your friends. And sometimes their opinion of your relationship at that moment does not really, it's not really going to help you. It's really like, when you talk to those people, they're really more, most likely on your side. Then really trying to be that biased person and looking at it from a wider angle to see, hmm. Okay, I okay, I see why you mad, but was it did you have to go that far? Where you know what I'm saying? I feel like I was not given a balance. It was more so I'm on your side, so let it go. You know what I'm saying? And I felt like I needed that more like no bitch you need to chill out let's 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 really run through this real quick so you can take your butt home you know what i'm saying and now that it has gone to this part i feel like now i have been reflecting on what are you really reacting on yeah um and i say that we're all just more so of transparency things that i have been learning like really brianna what ha what are you dealing with that's making you react this way give it that way and i have came out i figured it out i really figured it out like it came to me i want to say like a couple days ago and well not a couple of days ago like i've been working towards it but i did not kind of know that what i was really working towards um, and that was because I have mastered my masculinity. I don't even know if it's masculinity, masculine, masculine side. And I have not mastered my feminine side. And usually some women, especially <laughs> black chocolate, um, we're so used to, especially from our environments, we're, we're always coming off tough and feeling like nah, nah, and kind of very being kind of very discarding very aggressive very like not patient i mean like i mean the list could go on and on and i'm speaking for myself oh my hair y'all champ i don't know what my do-rag doing but 
I'm about to fix it in a minute. So, with that being said, is I have been reinventing myself. That's what I was doing. I am reinventing myself. Um, not only you know, hopefully get my way back. I was kidding. I'm just kidding. Um, uh, but if God literally puts us back together, then I'll be ready. And if so, if not, then I'll be ready for my new person. Either way it goes, I want to be make sure I am ready and whoever it is new, oh, is getting the new me. Okay, because um, not only is it it's really not even about the future it's about me like i can't stand that um i'm using that masculinity against myself like i'm getting when i say masculine sometimes i think how i think it, it's like being a man you know what i'm saying like green and single is fine because you could be you could be lazy but sometimes i'm not as hard as i should be on myself um i can't be lazy like now well now you're really doing better. But it's just not even feeding myself. You got some niggas, niggas, they don't cook, okay? They just, they don't cook. And, and women, we do. And it's giving, I'm not cooking. I'm not doing what I need to do. I'm just like thugging it out. Like I'm just kind of going into rotations. Like I'm not being that person that I need to be for myself. So with that being said, I'm like, okay, you need to reinvent yourself. You're about to be 27 in a month. Today is July 5th. Um, being is no, because you're going to keep coming in and out. So he's not coming again. Um, so yeah, I want to reinvent myself before my birthday. Like I'm about to be 27 and... I've been getting this like people are oh, you better be 27 and I'll be like sadly sadly and I'm like why you see sadly and I'm like because mentally I feel like I'm it's giving it's not giving a kid but sometimes it's giving kid because of the mindset and you're and it's not like a 10 year old don't don't get me wrong it's giving like a high schooler someone who's just just trying to do it but at the same time it's like I'm living two different lives. You know what I'm saying? Like one day I'm getting it, I'm getting it, I'm getting it. But I've been by me do, been doing so good for myself for the last couple of years. I have it's been oh it's been on autopilot. But sometimes autopilot can only go so far. Okay, you gotta step in and, and help it out a little bit. Okay, so with that being said, let's get into this video on how we about to get me all the way together. Let's go. Cheers. Before we get into it, I got me some um, some Kiss individual lashes, um, the trio. So it's basically three put together. Uh, it can make it create just become a little faster, easier than usual individual lashes. Basically, um, I don't mind them because I mean I can just go a little bit faster. But anyways. If you see me looking to my left, if you see me looking to my right, it's most definitely I'm either looking at my my, my journal, which is right here, that I wrote everything on. So I just can't be blah, 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 brain, okay? And if I'm looking over here, it's because I'm um, putting my lashes on, of course. So let's kind of get into it. Uh, basically, um, the path. How, Brianna, how do you plan on getting it together? I did give myself 30 days, but I'm giving myself 30 days as more so a mental shift. So we're doing like uh, monthly. So the first part is a mental shift and a body shift. And that, to me, that means is more so your mind has shift. You have been practicing this thing for a month consistently. So you can say you have shifted for 30 days only. You know what I'm saying? So the first 30 days is basically mind and body shift. <laughs> Get it? <clears throat> mind and body shift. Okay. So um, <clears throat> basically that's what it's going to be. Then a third... Um, Sorry, not the third, but the second one is basically, we're going to call it mind-body stability. Um, basically, I have created this shift where I am now. I've been doing it at for two months. It should be at a stable, we're praying for a consistent, stable shift, right? Um, and then after that, that was, I would say that was three months, we should be at a full on... Um, shit you know now we're just basically in that lifestyle we're going in that lifestyle and we're just really enjoying that moment not moving too fast but embracing that lifestyle you know so um 
that's basically my plan and let's kind of break it down um how i plan to do that so the first that first shift is basically we're gonna be focused on me um basically that's about spirit health and finance only just three i don't be trying to overwhelm myself grant granted i am a great overachiever i'll be trying to do a lot of things but within those little things can be broken down into the baby steps just in case you have a bad day like we all have bad days but we need to not overpower ourselves and try to drain us out and that's what i do all the time that's why i really always like oh, i feel like i gotta reach for it all the time like it's crazy okay so um that's basically the first 30 days we're gonna just be practicing um <clears throat> health wealth my spirit basically meditating journaling but we're gonna get into all we're gonna we're, we're, we're gonna get into all that we're gonna get into all that um but health basically working out three times a week um finances making sure we're budgeting we're cleaning off debt we're building budget i mean business credit and personal credit like but we gonna get into all of that you know what I'm saying? just stick with me it's a series it's a series make sure like i said you follow you subscribe turn on post notifications help me support me you know what i'm saying <laughs> okay so um next is um after that we're going to get into the first th after the 30 days we're going to get into career hobbies routine practicing you know things now that i have me taken care of let's now take care of something that's going to help take care of me you know what i'm saying so that's my career which is your bread your hobbies which makes you happy and your routine what makes you stay what consistent are you staying with me sis are you with me okay i need you here um so basically career figure that out put on a routine like okay what is those goals with it within that career like your business what are your goals let's put it down blah, 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 blah. hobbies girl i don't even have hobbies i have to even look up the definition what is really a hobby you know what i'm saying you gotta be honest with yourself like honey i don't have any hobbies um so we gotta figure that out so that's um like a huge thing on my list is trying to figure out my hobbies and then a routine last time i had a routine was like what <laughs> high school <laughs> yeah and barely was that was very inconsistent but still that was my last like real i could say routine but then lastly um but not least we got spouses we have peers we have family so that's me you know what i'm saying hopefully you know what i'm saying where you when you look in here you feeling here that's when the door just open you know what i'm saying you might get new men you might get your old you just gotta see who you know what i'm saying hopefully the old is healed too so y'all can just ooh, you know what i'm saying um and all types of stuff uh where do i want to put this so we're gonna try i'm really kind of nervous how to really put this on okay we gonna get we probably gonna have a lot of under glue but that's okay that's okay we got we got that one on there though we got that one on there um so basically like i said i did mention we are gonna have like a reinvented transformation series where i will be taking you guys alongside it with me to see what it looks like how i feel give life updates give vlogs um data lives just my whole transformation what i'm doing to become that girl um for me being her the person that i um imagine to be i'm ready to be her i feel like she's here she's in me she always been there and i'm ready to you know explore her get her you know get her ready because she's ready for new things okay she was definitely ready for new things, but in, in order for those new things to come, you gotta be ready. Your mind gotta be ready, your body, your mind, your soul. So, 
we're gonna take this whole month of july to be consistent to show you guys like um my journey with that being said um follow me on my facebook my tiktok and on youtube i won't be on instagram but definitely follow me on instagram i will get back on instagram when it's closer to my birthday because i really, really just want to make sure that we are locked in you know what i'm saying we locked in excuse my nails they popped off i've been working a lot so they you know popped off but um on all platforms it's just free down below right there just follow me show me love comment 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 share share, share tell your people you know what i'm saying just tell them about me i'm not even that you know i'm not even that difficult it costs you a point nine out of nine so follow me um now my steps it's five steps five steps that i'm willing to take <laughs> i'm talking about that i'm willing to take that i am going to be taking First one is um, first, first on the list, first on the list. One, decide who you want to become. So I have written down those things and I will share those things with you in another video. Um, Cause I don't want this video to be too, too long. Um, so number two, and that's basically just kind of sitting down, right? And you're telling, you're asking yourself, what, what do I want for me? What do I see for myself? Who do I see for myself? Um, the future person, you know? The future me. Who is she? What does she like? What does she do? What's the money? You know what I'm saying? All of that. Like, who is she? What does she like? What does she like? All. Oh, hold on. Let me tell you. Show you. All sorts of stuff, you know? So, uh, I also have to lay this part down. Okay. I'm gonna double them because I definitely feel like she doubles my lashes. I'm just so fragile with them. Like, I don't want to hurt it. And then, it's so thin, you be feeling like you touching it, but you ain't been touching it. And basically, how I'm kind of learning, I'm putting it on 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 basically how my how the lady did my lashes and i'm kind of putting it all in the same row if that makes sense but since this is my first time over time i will get used to it i just have to kind of figure out a flow you know let me show you Ooh. You see how I got that out there? But I scooted it down now. I scooted it down. Yeah, I scooted it down now. Okay. Boom. Boom. Next, next, number two is accepting and letting go of the past version of yourselves. Sometimes that is really hard for me because one, I do tend to live in sometimes regret. Um, I feel like, ah, oh, dang, you did a little too much on that one. Okay, you probably did it too many little stories. Oh my gosh, oh my gosh. Like, should you have said that? Should you have treated that? Like, I am an overthinker and it's like, ah. Oh. And that's because I am trying to fight the old person because the new person wants to go out and sometimes i feel like i'm confusing my audience by being my old person and sometimes being my new person it's like okay it's giving luxury then you got hood then luxury then it's hood luxury hood it's like what the fuck do you want to be god you know what i'm saying so that's really what i have been struggling with um 
Oh my gosh, my camera wants to die. One second. Okay, y'all, what's up? We back, we back, we back. We're gonna try to get into this, get into this, because I let it charge just a little bit longer. I definitely need to um, get me invest into like, a couple more chargers. I mean, batteries, so that way I ain't gotta keep running about this. But right now, we're just gonna work with what we got, okay? Shoot, everybody got all that money. I said rich and raw, not rich and rich, okay? Racks on racks. I just said rich and raw. I ain't rich yet. It's a manifestation. Just in case you don't know. Um. Anyways, anyways. Let me get back into this. Uh. So I went. Sorry, dude. My nose. My thing was itching right here. My nose running. Um, next number three is basically I say accepting, um, accepting, accepting the new you and letting go of the old you. Just kind of like you know rebranding yourself, understanding like that's just the old you. Gotta let things go, let old people go. You know what I'm saying? Everybody ain't meant to stay, and that also means that old you. Sometimes you gotta go. He gotta go. You know what I'm saying? Um, next we have. Um, adop adapting the right habits and routines. So basically, adopt adapting and adopting. Um, sorry, I couldn't get the. There was like a tongue twister to me for some reason. Uh, oh my god! Why don't I put all this glue on that one last? Lord have mercy, chill. Why would I do that? Um, and that basically means like i was telling y'all earlier like finding new hobbies like girl i don't even know what i like to do other than run my mouth um not in a bad way just like talk um so i gotta figure out myself what are some things that i like to do that um keep me busy feeling not single all the time um so i have to invest in something like that and just um uh, morning routines you know, by being an entrepreneur, sometimes it can be kind of hard to be self-disciplined. Get up, get actually out the bed, go to bed, um, do things that you know you need to do um, or prepare for because ain't nobody gonna do it but you. So, um, I feel like that's one is understanding and start doing the things that you need to be doing and getting them um, creating that morning routine like especially for me for example um one thing that's going to be in my morning routine is not only workouts but eating like girl you can't be working out and not eating like that's just backwards you know so i gotta work on that and i gotta create that as a routine like it has to be a routine not a hobby not just something you 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 may do like it has to be you know mandatory okay um next number four is simply simpling things i really can't say the word simpling things and multiply so um basically creating creating more simple life and multiplying that um creating this system and you know mul multiplying it in different areas of your life like use the same system uh, in different areas of your life and just making sure those systems creating a productive routine so while you be creating it so say budget for example okay you know you need to when you go to the store be simple you know you can only spend a hundred dollars okay let's be simple make a, cre a a grocery list don't go in there and on, on some high shit and, and just start finding everything in the store and you walk out with half of things only three things you really went in there for but the rest of them, your car is full of stuff and on top of that you didn't get the things that you really needed to get so let's try to be a little bit more simple so we can multiply throughout the week which is grocery shopping i mean which is groceries food for dinner brunch and and, and, and lunch breakfast and, and dinner you know what i'm saying that was all out of order all out of order but you get what i'm saying um let's let's just try to get life a little bit more simpler um i'm just trying to 
do that and also on top of that why are you making things a little simpler also uh for your day create a to-do list um a monthly weekly you know goal that's something i one i'm talking to myself about because i do to-do lists every day just so it can help me and what i have learned even just by me doing to do daily to do list, I remember what I wrote, and it's a difference when you write it down than just thinking in your head or even putting the notes in your phones. Because sometimes when I put stuff in my notes on my phone, I don't even go back to my notes. Honestly, some people they do. I don't really be on my phone like that, but I do be on my phone. But I don't be on my phone like on my phone. If that makes sense, take a shot for that. Cause I feel like I've been talking so much. Um. So me writing it down in the notebook, it helps me think about it more because I think about what I actually did today and what I actually wrote. So that helps me. Um, another tip is um, when you write these things down in your calendar, and I'm also, like I said, some of these things that I'm saying, I'm really also talking about myself. So these are the things that I will be doing. Again, these are the things I will be doing to help me get where I am. So I'm kind of telling y'all, the things I will be doing. You know what I'm saying? So, take notes, take notes. And also, give me ideas. Because, hey, the more the merrier. You learn something every day. Um, Next, and not least, but least, and last. Um, be tougher and push push myself to more, uh, push my limits. Just do what I need to do and stop giving myself the, the, being the nice mom. Being a nice parent, being the best friend, being like, oh, uh, um, one thing I have learned is, um, sometimes, well, I have seasonal depression, I have ADHD, I have diagnosed with me a lot of things, I just have not went to the doctors and they fully told me, but I know what's wrong with me. Um, uh, I don't know everything though, uh, I know that could be the problem though. Um, what I'm saying, but anyways, hold on. So, really, what I'm doing is just trying to stick it right there on. Uh oh, I'm really trying to stick it right there on the lash. I mean, right there on my skin, and I try to double it up. You see how I just like barely put it there? You see it's like sticking there? Also, I'ma put a little of lash glue on. Put just a little bit on there. That way I can start building this this next one. Uh, now I'm really gonna put this kind of in the same spot. Uh -uh. I have to help that one out because it's stuck on my, my thing was, it was stuck on my tongue but yeah so basically being tougher on myself and getting the things that I know I need to get done um and sometimes also by me living by myself I, I give myself all the excuses but before my camera dies I want to give y'all a upper look of my lashes. I'll probably fill them in just a little bit more. I'm going to smash them down. But they look so much better than they was. 
kind of look. I'm gonna smash them in just a little bit more. But if you guys enjoyed this video, make sure you guys make sure you guys subscribe, turn on post notification, like this video, comment down below, follow my journey, follow me on all social social media platforms. Come and join me, give me support, show me love, give me notes, give me tips, give me help, anything. But I'll see you guys in the next video, and I will kind of go in more depth of what the new version looks like. The soft girl era. See you guys later. And don't forget over here. We just a whole lot of rich and raw. But we ain't rich yet. Uh, see you later. Mwah.